Zoe here. I hope you enjoy yesterday's Grumpy Cat Read Aloud. Hi guys. Zoe and I are here to read you a brand new read aloud today, right miss? Right, and you're really going to like it. All right guys, can you blow Zoe a kiss? She'll blow you a kiss. All right. We have a brand new story today to read, and this one is called The Giving Tree. Now, Mrs. Peterson has had this book since she was in second grade. My grandma and grandpa actually gave this book to me for my birthday one year. And so I really love The Giving Tree. This book is written and illustrated by Shel Silverstein. So he is the author and the illustrator. And do you see how his illustrations look different than the Grumpy Cat book yesterday? His illustrations are very simple. And almost all of his books, they look like they were drawn with a pencil or a marker. Let's go ahead and get started. Once there was a tree. And she loved the little boy. And every day the boy would come. and he would gather her leaves and make them into crowns and play king of the forest. He would climb up her trunk and swing from her branches. And eat apples. And they would play hide and go seek. And when he was tired, he would sleep in her shade. And the boy loved the tree. Very much. And the tree was happy. But time went by and the boy grew older and the tree was often alone. Then one day the boy came to the tree and the tree said, come boy, come and climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and eat apples and play in my shade and be happy. I am too big to climb and play, said the boy. I want to buy things and have fun. I want to have money. Can you give me some money? I'm sorry, said the tree, but I have no money. I only have leaves and apples. Take my apples, boy, and sell them in the city. Then you will have money and you will be happy. And so the boy climbed up the tree and gathered her apples and carried them away. And the tree was happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time and the tree was sad. Then one day the boy came back. The tree shook with joy and she said, come boy, climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and be happy. I am too busy to climb trees, said the boy. I want a house to keep me warm, he said. I want a wife and kids, so I need a house. Can you give me a house? I have no house, said the tree. The forest is my house, but you may cut off my branches and build a house, and then you will be happy. And so the boy cut off her branches and carried them away to build his house. Wow. Can you tell me some reasons why we know that the tree loves the little boy so much? We know that she let the little boy pick all of her apples and take all of her branches because the tree wanted the boy to be so happy. So she was willing to give him those things. That's called being selfless. Can you say that word? Selfless. And then the tree was happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time 
And when he came back, the tree was so happy she could hardly speak. Come, boy, she whispered. Come and play. I am too old and sad to play, said the boy. I want a boat that will take me far away from here. Can you give me a boat? Cut down my trunk and make a boat, said the tree. Then you can sail away and be happy. And so the boy cut down her trunk and made a boat and sailed away. And the tree was happy, but not really. Why do you think the tree isn't happy anymore? Is it because the boy pretty much took the whole tree? That's what I think. After a long time, the boy came back. I'm sorry, boy, said the tree, but I have nothing left to give you. My apples are gone. My teeth are too weak for apples, said the boy. My branches are gone, said the tree. You cannot swing on them. I am too old to swing on branches, said the boy. My trunk is gone, said the tree. You cannot climb. I am too tired to climb, said the boy. I am sorry, sighed the tree. I wish that I had something to give you, but I have nothing left. I am just an old stump. I am sorry. How do you think the tree is feeling right now that she has nothing left to give the boy? Do you think she feels sad? I think the tree feels sad. I don't need very much now, said the boy. Just a quiet place to sit and rest. I am very tired. Well, said the tree, straightening herself up as much as she could. Well, an old stump is good for sitting and resting. Come, boy, sit down. Sit down and rest. And the boy did. And the tree was happy. The end. Wow, what a good story. Kindergarten, who were the characters in my book? Did you say the boy and the tree? Those are the characters. What's the setting in our story? The book doesn't tell us, but we might think, we might make an inference and say that it might be in the forest. Now, can you tell me the plot of the story? We know that this story was all about the things that the tree would give the little boy to make him happy. Did you have a favorite part of the story? My favorite part was the end when the boy was very old and could use the stump as a place to sit. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's read aloud. I love and miss you very much. Kiss your brains for being good listeners. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.